where the offense came alive tonight. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Phillies Hot Stove Media Tourney Cup in tonight's game to the fifth of Phillies and the Washington Nationals as the Phillies defeat the Nationals by on a score of 8-5 to five as we hit four home runs as a team tonight. Ranger Suarez with a nice bounce back story. He certainly needed that one. Now, guys, before we get into this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Uh, so now we have secured at least uh, a series win over these guys. So, right, so we are now 12 and two against the Nationals this season. Think about that, 12 and two. Uh, so we've only lost one game at Citizens Park, Park against these guys. Uh, so I mean, it's a bad defense by the Nationals today. I mean, it saves our Hernandez old friend. I mean, what in the world was he doing? Uh, like, th like three boneheaded moves tonight by that guy. Uh, of course, Michael Franco no longer on the Washington Nationals. Uh, of course, he was uh, released a few weeks ago, so Cesar Hernandez is no longer with his former teammate. Uh, so that Nationals team is absolutely terrible. I mean, uh, of course, they were able to make some noise later in the ball game, and I mean, you know, still, I mean, they've been you know playing relatively tough on us the past two nights, but uh, still, I mean, we've been able to come out you know pretty easily with these wins here. Uh, so Bryce Harper taking his former teammate deep again. I mean, six times he absolutely kills that guy. I mean, Eric Fetty, my goodness gracious. This is absolutely crazy. Kyle Schroer with 37 home runs now this season. Uh, Brandon March, I mean, uh, you know, hitting that one over the wall. And he also just missed one earlier in the ballgame as well. Uh, and uh, Nick Maton also going hard as well. So that was pretty nice to see as we pick up the scoring start. We hit on top of the third inning. Joey Manassis homers on a fly ball to left field. A two-run shot also scores Lane Thomas. His eighth of the season, and it's now 2-0 Washington. So the Nationals get on the board first. Not to sound like negative, but I'll be honest, I just kind of got that vibe. And sure enough, I was wrong. Uh, thankfully, I was wrong. Uh, then we pick it up here in the bottom of the third inning. Bryce Harper, uh, his first uh, dong against the Nationals this season, as he homers on a fly ball to left field the other way. A two-run shot also scores Brandon Marsh, and the Phillies tie it at two. Uh, so Bryce with his 16th of the season. Uh, he went 101 plate appearances without him a home run, which is the longest streak he's had in his career. Uh, and I, my response to that is I think it's a coincidence. Uh, the way I look at it is, I mean, hey, I mean, prior to him breaking his thumb uh, against Blake Snell, uh, he was already on a pretty long home run drought. We all remember that, right? I mean, uh, he hadn't hit a home run in like a while. Then uh, he comes back and it takes a while to get adjusted, right? When you're coming off the IL, you're not just going to come out uh, and just start playing at, you know, very, very high level. I mean, this was kind of just one of those things. I mean, this was kind of a coincidence in my opinion. Uh, that's the way I kind of look at it. I really don't care about the fact that he won 101 plate appearances without hitting a home run. Uh, who cares? Uh, who cares? I mean, he's back now. He's healthy. I mean, I think that that swing kind of put him back in the groove of things. I mean, it traveled 403 feet uh, I mean, out to left field. I mean, that ball was absolutely crushed. Uh, I've just never seen a guy just do so well against a certain pitcher. I mean, Eric Fetty, he absolutely murders that guy. Uh, I mean, Eric Fetty's probably like, you know, shaking his boots when he comes up to the plate. I mean, it's just like, he, you could tell he was trying to pitch around him tonight. He didn't want to even throw him anything good. Uh, and honestly, that pitch wasn't even something spectacular, and he still hit it out. Here we pick it up here in the bottom fourth inning. Amonio Sosa grounds into a force out. DJ Abrams flipped over to Cesar Hernandez covering, uh, and the Phillies did challenge that call at second, saying that Hernandez did not uh, touch uh, second base, which he did. Nick Nakton was, you know, on, out on the force out at second, uh, but to throw back to first uh, was not in time. Uh, so not a very good throw from Hernandez, and uh, of course he was originally called out, uh, the Phillies uh, challenged both calls. Of course, the one at second was not overturned. However, the one at first was, as that allowed Gene Segura to come around to score as the Phillies now take a 3-2 to two lead. He grounded into a lot of double plates tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That was kind of frustrating, I'll be honest with you. Uh, you know, it's something that we really need to work on. Uh, you know, Reese Hoskins, I mean, you know, granted, I mean, that one C.J. Abrams play, I mean, that was one heck of a play. Uh, you know, just, you know, quickly, you know, stepping on second and throwing back the first with the double play. I mean, that was just absolutely just incredible. Uh, so three to two fillers. Let me pick it up here in the same inning. Brandon Marsh doubles on a line drive to right field. Uh, this is a ball that almost got out. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I thought that this ball, I think he thought this ball was going to get out. It's 12th double of the season as a Sosa toss across the plate. I mean, what an absolutely terrible attempt of a tag uh, by Riley Adams. I mean, what in the world was that? 
Yeah, I mean, he should really be ashamed of himself. He has the ball, I mean, for like probably about, you know, maybe three or four seconds before Sosa's even near the plate. Uh, and instead of just reaching his glove down and just having it wait for him, he like walks over. He like tries to like, uh, you know, lean over here. It's just like, what is he doing? Uh, like, what in the world is he doing? If that was, a, if that was like, you know, somebody like Garrett Subs or JT Mito, I'd be going crazy. Uh, you know, like, why in the world are you doing that? I mean, it clearly calls the Nationals a run, uh, now 4-2 to two fills. Uh, so that was nice to see. Of course, Brandon Marshall not be done later in the ball game, and that, that was that was great. I mean, he had a very good night tonight. Pick it up here at the bottom of the fifth inning. Nick Maton homers on a fly ball the other way to left field. Uh, a two-run shot also scores Harp. Uh, and the Phillies now lead it 6-2. to two. A nice four-run lead for this Phillies team. That was pretty nice to see. Uh, so, of course, uh, Eric Fetty was out of the ballgame at that point. And then Nick Maton just continues to impress, right? A guy that doesn't have a huge role in this team, uh, but he's still contributing in a fairly big way. And we pick it up here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Brandon Marsh, after missing a home run earlier, made sure this was going to go out. As he homers on a fly ball to left field the other way. His 10th of the season. And it's now a 7-2 to ballgame. Now a five-run lead for this Phillies team. Uh, so you know the game is over at this point. I, I was pretty confident, especially going against a last place AAA Nationals team. And it honestly hasn't been too bad, you know, the best week, but they're still, uh, you know, not having the best of seasons a bit of mile. And we pick it up here in the top of the seventh inning. Uh, Mario Vargas doubles on his short line drive to left field. Cesar Hernandez crosses the plate. That was Vargas' seventh double of the season, and it's now a 7-3 ball game. Uh, so Nationals uh, get one back off of Ranger Suarez. Of course, Ranger Suarez can only collect two outs there in the seventh inning as that would end his start. Uh, still, you know, definitely a much better start than, uh, you know, a couple starts prior. Uh, they only pick it up here in the same inning. Lane Thomas singles any ground ball to left field. Vargas crosses the plate. Uh, and the Nationals now make it to 7 to 4 ball game. So they're now just down by three. They just were just slowly chipping away. And they're like, oh my gosh. Uh, you know, hopefully they don't, uh, you know, come back and tie this ball game. I, mean, I still didn't think they were, but uh, they were starting to make some noise here. Then we pick it up here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Uh, his first home run uh, since August 29th is Kyle Schwarber, homer Sunday fly ball to right center field. Uh, his 37th of the season, and it's down 8-4 to four ball game. So I'd love to see this guy get to 40. I think he's very much capable of doing that. I'd like to see Bryce get to 20, Schwarber get to 40, Reese get to 30. Uh, so the Phillies get one back now 8-4. to four. Then we Pick it up here in the top of the ninth inning. Lane Thomas singles on a ground ball to left field. Riley Adams causes the plate, and it's now an 8-5 to five ball game. Uh, so the Phillies certainly are making it interesting there in the top of the ninth inning. Connor Brogdon just didn't do the best of job. That is for sure. The Phillies really need Trandon Dominguez back, right? He's most likely going to be back tomorrow. I mean, think about that. That is just great news. Uh, this guy just can't come back fast enough because honestly, Connor Brogdon was really struggling to slam the door there uh, in the top of the ninth inning, but luckily he was fine. Finally able to get the job done. Finally, uh, as the Phillies win eight to five, so Kyle Schwarber out of the leadoff spot, two knocks tonight, hitting a double as twentieth of the season off of Eric Fuddy, uh, and also hitting him run as thirty seventh of the season. Uh, and he also was able to draw two walks. I mean, there you go, there you go. I said, I mean, you know, I talked about, you know, he's not giving you, you know, stature that a leadoff hitter should. Uh, well, tonight I was wrong. Uh, he did. I mean, he walked two times at the home run and the double. He was very productive tonight. A 214 average now for Schwartz. Let's go take a look. Up. Yes, look how much it jumped. It's 796. Almost now at 800 again. Reese Hoskins, a rough Hills performance tonight, going 0 for 5. Uh, oh my gosh, man. He just did not look very good tonight. He wasn't able to put the ball in play. Got him out. And uh, Bryce Harper. He was a big one. The two run blast to left field way back there. I love to see Bryce go the other way. Uh, so he absolutely crushed that ball. Uh, and he also was able to draw a walk. As I said, Eric Fetty still pitching around him. Even, you know, in that bat, that bat he hit the home run, he still was uh, being careful. Uh, and <laughs> Harp still uh, found a way to take him deep. I, I just absolutely love it. And he also scores on the Nick Maton uh, two-run blast. Uh, and uh, Bryson stopped bats clean up tonight and goes hitless. And he also was able to draw a walk. And just going back to Harp once again, uh, stop batting him clean up. I mean, uh, he clear, just clear wasn't working there. I mean, he was always working well in the three hole. I mean, that's where he won the MVP last year. He was he was putting up those MVP numbers in the three hole. But oh yeah, let's put him let's put him in the cleanup spot. I mean, it's just it's just little things like that that Rob Thompson was doing. Uh, I just found so 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 weird. Uh, you know what I mean? Something's not working. But let's keep using it. Uh, you know, let's just keep doing it. I mean, like what? Why are you continuing to use a plan that continues to fail? Uh, so now he finally, you know, changed something up and put him back in the three hole. That's where he should have been all along. Pinch Gore collects a single tonight, also scoring one of the Phil's uh, eight runs as well. And Nick Maton, only when he was a big one, need two run home run the other way to left field. 
Uh, so that was pretty nice to see. He was also able to draw a walk. Uh, and uh, Nick Maton, uh, through uh, 43 at-bats, has collected a 3-2 average to go along with 4 home runs, 14 RBIs, and 1,089 OPS. Uh, and he's done the job just fine out in right field for the most part. Uh, and uh, Garrett Stubbs gets to start behind home plate tonight and collects a single and also was able to draw a walk as JT Muto gets the day off. Uh, so, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I thought it was a little unusual. Since it's a finale day game tomorrow, why didn't you just wait until tomorrow? But instead, they give him a night off tonight. Uh, and, of course, he was very productive in last night's ballgame. Not behind the plate, though. Amonio Sosa had his performance tonight, but he was able to collect an RBI uh, on that fielder's choice ground out. Because he was able to leg out that ground ball and avoid the double play. Uh, and uh, what a slide into the first base. I mean, that really was a huge reason as to why he was safe in the first place. Uh, and uh, Brandon Marsh, three knocks tonight. Uh, the uh, double, 12th of the season, also collecting a single and a home run. Uh, his 10th of the season, second since joining the Phils. Uh, so two RBIs for him, a 232 average now for Brandon Marsh to go along with uh, 47 RBIs, a uh, 651 OPS. Uh, but this is like, the best we've seen of him you know, since the Arizona Dimeback Series, am I right? Uh, so uh, Ranger Suarez, six and two thirds, seven hits, four runs, all four were earned, one walk and four strikeouts, a three six two ERA uh, for Ranger Danger Suarez, a nine and five record, so much better. I mean, he really needed this. Uh, a big bounce back star for Ranger Suarez. This stuff was so much more effective. He really needed that one. I mean, you saw the stats before. I mean, uh, like the second or turn, third time through the order, he just was absolutely getting just killed, absolutely killed. Uh, so tonight was not the case. Angel Bellotti, third in the inning, he was able to come in there in the seventh inning and collect the final out uh, to get Ranger Suarez out of it. And Sam Coonrad, an inning, one hit. Uh, a pretty decent uh, top of the eighth inning. And Connor Brogdon, of course, it's always something scary. He comes in there in the top of the ninth inning and allows three hits, one run, run was earned, one walk, and two strikeouts. He still manages to have a 306 ERA, but some of you brought this up too. Lost a lot of veal on that fastball. He hasn't been as productive. It looks like he looked in spring training. Uh, the fastball doesn't have as much life on it. I mean, he just looks very, very tired. Uh, so I, I go back to it again. I'm still worried about this bullpen. Seems like Rob Thompson is finally, uh, maybe he listens to this. Maybe he hears what I have to say because he stopped batting Bryce clean up uh, and he hasn't used Data Robertson this weekend and hopefully he does it. Uh, I mean, give him the weekend off. I mean, he's going to have the off day on Monday as well. So I do not want to see David Robinson tomorrow uh, at all. We're most likely going to have Serenity tomorrow because, remember, the report said uh, we'll be activated prior to Sunday afternoon's game at 105. Despite the shaky ninth inning there from Connor Brogdon, the Phillies were still able to hang on for the win. Uh, so that was pretty nice to see. The Padres are losing 8-2 to two to the Dodgers. Thank you, Dodgers. I, I just can't stand the Dodgers for, you know, this just because every time we need them to win, they just don't do it for us. You know what I mean? Uh, fortunately, the Padres did win last night. But how about how bad Juan Soto has been since joining them? He has not done anything. I mean, he's in 239. Like the same RBI total as Bryce Harper. Like right around there. Bryce Harper got him as two months. Uh, and uh, he is this, pretty much the same RBI total as Juan Soto. Think about that. That's just absolutely just unacceptable. Uh, so I want so to certainly he's had an underwhelming season in a lot of ways. Uh, so I want to fight the first pitch tomorrow afternoon as we look for the sweep. Aaron Nola in 9 and 11 with a 3 3 5 ERA going against uh, Annie Ball Sanchez, right? I mean, was with the Nationals in 2019, of course, a World Series champion there. Was with them in 2020, wasn't with them last season, but he was re signed. Two and five with a four, five, six ERA. I mean, a guy I wish the Phillies would have you know, looked at a couple years ago. Uh, so uh, the Nationals, I mean, they sit 49 and 91. Of course, they were officially eliminated a few days ago. Uh, so, man, they're just a bad, bad team. So please get to sleep tomorrow. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Check out the social media. Link in the description section at Phillies Hot Soup Media. Instagram, Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at Piazza Media. Car text 267 225 Email me. Phillies at gmail.com. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke and I'll talk to you. Let's go, Phillies. See you guys.